Life in a world that keeps changing Think that it's progress you're making Copy and paste pretty faces All the time Pictures so perfect we play Hello everyone, welcome to Anointed Lady TV, the home of news and politics. If it is your first time in this channel, you are highly welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you like what we do on this channel, hit on the subscribe button. Also put on the notification bell so you'll be notified by YouTube anytime we drop a new video. And if you are returning subscribers, thank you very much for always coming back to watch our videos. On this platform, we drop videos every day and we react to every video that come our way. And on this very video, I will be watching with you. And after watching, let's go to the comment section and drop our opinion constructively. Like our videos and also share our videos if possible. See you next time in my next video. I cannot answer a false question because you are fishing in false waters. It is not true. Is it because he, is, is my, it because he's in, you are involved there? And the question no, you are involved. Know, I, you are because because you are purely on truth. I'm sorry to use the word that, nice. That you don't you believe, are on truth. That you don't and agree I challenge because you to happened on it. Because I'm reading the story to you. No, no. No, just if, you, if I'm no, in line no, on my question. No. You can't lie on your question. No, you can't lie on your question. Produce the evidence. <laughs> Senator Adams Oshomole and the channel's TV presenter Shewu don't nearly condemn each other teeth for inside studio. I said the two people fight no be small. You are lying, you are telling me the truth, you are lying, you say the truth, you are lying. <laughs> As a matter of fact, make on a use on a eye, they watch the video for herself. See how the two of them they fight dirty and make sure so you watch the video to the end so that you no go miss any of the action at all and when the watch are finished share and make other people follow see how the two people nearly disgrace themselves for national tv today all right um the reason why i invited you tonight is about the labor uh strike and when you were leaving the vice president office yesterday you made some uh, statement which is already getting reactions uh and uh, and I, I have a feeling that you have more information and more details are coming to you as to the development of things but when you say, for example, that a strike is misplaced and not in national interest, uh, and for example, labor leaders are already saying that you do not have sufficient information, that's why you said what he said. How do you react to that? Well, first, let me say this you that um, any day, any time, at the heart of democracy is the freedom of the citizens. That freedom in exercise of that freedom. They may do something that infringes on the law, it could be right or wrong. But what is obvious is that in a democracy, nobody can take laws into his own, into his own hand. So my understanding is that this strike is about the uh, some elements who have not been identified as being responsible for beating up or uh, in a way, you know, subjecting to uh, the president of the NLC to uh, beating and all sort of thing. And of course, looking at the visuals, it appears he was really severely dealt with by people who have not been identified. I believe that the Nigeria government, the Nigerian state, has a responsibility to identify those who are responsible for um, Kilos into their own hand, not only in terms of beating a president of an organized labor, but assaulting any Nigerian citizen. I mean, that is the law. And if you do that, the police have a duty to investigate, identify those responsible, and bring them to justice. However, the challenge I have with this strike is that I, I had a similar experience, for example. I was on my way to, to Delta State, and I went to the airport, and the then uh, director of SSS ordered that I should be arrested and stopped from traveling because we had given ultimatum to the then president, uh, to the then federal government headed by President Ulusegu Obasanjo, you know, which had to do with, you know, not withdrawing, resisting the attempt to withdraw subsidy because of our fears of the consequential uh, increase in cost of living. And uh, they dragged me on the tarmac and I have my cuts all over the place. 
and they forcefully prevented me from flying and took me back to the DSS Director General's office, then Colonel Ira. And um, he offered to take me to the hospital, the, to their own hospital. And I said, no, I can't even trust the government that has inflicted this kind of hold on me to treat me because the man has been poisoning my blood. I said, I'm, I wasn't going to do that. Fast forward. I ended up being detained. I was taken away. And uh, for two days, at least 48 hours, NSC couldn't locate me. When eventually I was let out, with bandage on my hand, with the blood and all that, I told my colleagues, this blood we further reinforce and with my appetite for struggle for justice. The issue is about the welfare of the Nigeria workers in particular and the welfare of the Nigeria people in general. And this is I make a distinction between the two is that the workers are former members of the NLC. They are the ones who form all the unions, the industrial unions that constitute the athletes of the NLC. And I said, I will do everything possible to resist the temptation to make my brutalization an issue, but I will remain focused and even more determined to ensure that the issue between us and government, which has to do with the welfare of Nigerian workers and working families, is not compromised. And I remember the then speaker, uh, Speaker Masari from now former Governor Masari, he led the member of the House of Rep to members to come and commiserate with me after seeing the injury that I suffered, etc. But I resisted, but that is my price for leadership. Now, the issue in Nemo is a bit more problematic. Now, <clears throat> the current president of the NLC is from Nemo State. And this is the second time they're having a showdown with the governor. And the issues are never really, really clear. The first one was over dispute about who should be or who did the workers want to elect a chairman of NLC in Imo State, Imo State Council. The one that was allegedly favored by many people, the president of the NLC coming from Imo, they didn't like the person. They did their election, it was nullified. And the Ketika was appointed, and some of the workers felt that the man appointed was the person favored by the president. NLC president must be seen to be above board. He must not drag himself into the little, little issues and so on, particularly when you are dealing with your state. Now, those issues about who should be, the, who is the chairman, who is not the chairman, led to a declaration of strike. And the mother union of the NSC president is the NUI, which controls the power supply. And they put up power in Imo State. Now, this latest one, about nine or 10 days to the last election, again, the NSC president went to Imo State. And over allegations of all sorts of things, but they are never specific. Low wages, etc., etc., etc. And at the end of the day, we saw pictures that he was arrested. He had ordered that there should be air, um, there should be no flight to Imo, in or out of Imo, no transport in or out of Imo. Imo must be grounded. And not a few people wondered about the timing. If you don't want the governor, the more reason you should allow people to go and vote. And vote him out if your opinion is shared by majority of the people. But you cannot arrest democracy. You by think that's what Ajero is doing? By, 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 but, by wait. I, it is with, you know, heavy heart that I have to speak on this. Because I have promised myself I will never publicly comment. But since we've had all sort of conversation and this is not going on, we do need to let the public know. Because once I have spoken, I have to explain myself. What is the wisdom? What was the agency of declaring a strike few days to a state election where the people of Imo State will have the opportunity to remove or reaffirm confidence in the present governor? Now, by doing the, th the sort of thing he did, in my view, he was mixing politics with the issues of organized labor. 
And you know, I mean, even watching ch uh, Chinese television, a week or two to elections, campaign becomes intense, and everybody is suspicious of the other. And in my humble opinion, that is not the best time to go back to your state, have you officially identified with a particular political party, and a party that had disputed even the findings of the Supreme Court, and you are there with no clear court reasons as to what is it that you are seeking to achieve. Now, like I said, I will condemn in the strongest term possible the attack on his person. Because as they say, two wrongs don't make a right. In any case, violence, nobody has a right to resort to violence and attack anyone on account of differences. So there is no question about it. But that said, this has happened. What should we do? Our basic uh, procedure in labor, when we talk of solidarity, is that when an employer, in this case, in most state government as an employer, if they are seen to be responsible for what has happened, you can mobilize the people. And if the workers are convinced that what has happened is wrong, they will, you can direct them to down tools and limit it to the employer involved. You cannot ask workers in Lagos who have no problem with their governor to disrupt services in Lagos. Workers in Rivers who have no problem with their governor to disrupt services. The basis of solidarity, everybody knows this, elementary principle in trade unionism, but where an employer has erred and workers are determined to fight him, they will be given the support to fight. It is when they are overwhelmed and the employer is not responding that you call for solidarity action. So nationwide strike is not a tea party because those involved in it are not winning out of fun because those who will even suffer more are very ordinary people. So when you do it, you do it because you have been pushed to the wall. Comrade, let me so let me be clear. Yeah. Whereas I condemn in strong terms whoever is responsible for the attack on the person of the president of the NLC, I do not think that that in itself is enough, given the other problems that are pending that I believe NLC has not addressed. I do not think that you should flood the whole country at once on general strike. General strike is not a Tea Party. The issue must be. To go on general strike in the first system must be more be that the issues in dispute are national in nature. If it is about solidarity, the person with whom you are uh, uh, showing sympathy must first be allowed to fight for his right. Let me jump in quickly, uh, yes. comrade. Uh, there are those who will say, uh, historically speaking, there was a, uh, um, an incident that happened in Edo State when you were governor where the NSC chairman in Edo's chapter was beaten up. And uh, in that sense, uh, I'll, I'll remember, I'll pick up his name. But the question no, now no, is... Not his name, by who? I don't know. I can't remember those. But I you remember, have to get the fact, well, so well, you don't go and feed the public with No, no, no. Uh, was, was it true that someone was... Not uh, true. NSC chairman? Not true. So, so when you I, talk I'm just about saying that your, a leader... Yeah. 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 yeah, when you were talking about your own incident with the DSS, yes. and I was the reference I was trying to make... Because I remember vividly what happened that time, because it was uh, uh, it was reported at the time, and I was making reference to the case. I remember his name now, Emmanuel Ademokun, who was the NLC chairman in Edo State at the time in December of 2013, who said, according to him, quote, I was beaten to stupor, and the allegations was that uh, it was beaten by thugs sent by the state government. That was when you were governor. That and I was correct. going to ask you. No, no. No, just a moment. If I'm allowed on my question. No. You can't lie it's on reported. your question. No, you can't lie on your question. Produce the evidence. It's been nobody, reported. Nobody. It's been reported here. No. The man of Adam Okun alleged. No. <laughs> what was you the reaction of the state government? The Imanol Ademoku at the time alleged, yeah. alleged yeah. Yeah. that talks beat him up to stupor. Okay. And he alleged that the talks 
were sponsored by the state government. Is so there? What was you the can... state government response? So the question I'm asking. No, 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 no. No, hold on. What was the response of that? Ready, if you allow no, me to we'll get, get the question. Half -truth. No, let me let me it's not true. Let me put the question, sir. Put it. Would you allow me? I will. All right. So but the situation, true. just a moment, if you allow me to put the question, and I'm making reference to what yeah, happened the question. when you were go when you were governor. It's not true. Would you allow me to you put don't a question? make allegations that are not true on the national television? That was the report at the time. It's Emmanuel Ademoku yeah. at the time. Do you remember him or not, sir? Of course, I know Emmanuel Ademoku. Do you remember, sir, in December of 2013, that he was allegedly to have been beaten up, and he said in his own word that he was beaten to stupor, and his allegation at the time was this was orchestrated allegedly by thugs sponsored by the government. So my question is that that kind of situation. How do you handle it as a governor? That's my question. I cannot answer a false question because you are fishing in false waters. It is not true. Is it because, he, was is, is my, it because he's in, you are involved there? And the question no, you are involved. Know, I, you, are because, you are petty on truth. I'm sorry to use the word that, nice. That you don't you believe, are on truth. That you don't and agree. I challenge because you to it on a, because I'm reading the as story a media, to you. As a media who has been active, you have a station in Benin. What was the response of the state government? Because even if you, ordinary citizen, you, you allege that a cameraman beat you up, where they will go to the cameraman and ask you, why did you beat up you? You mean they don't say go back quiet if there was such an allegation? I'm, I'm hearing it from you for the first time. He alleged that he, alleged that he said he was saying, beaten to stupor. And the words that I used was that he alleged that this was sponsored by thugs. This is the one lie you the will question. not be able to get away with. <laughs> If you don't believe and I agree with that, it is not that true. Is you not don't believe you so can't what believe is your truth? Me. What is your truth, comrade? That is not true. What is your own truth? What is my own truth? How? Yeah. If you don't agree with that, if you say that somebody dies and I say the person didn't die, what is my truth? Is that not my, my response Do you to remember it? the incident with the man at the in don't December, that, sir? Don't diminish the power, the, the, this channel you, you, by fishing on. Talk to issues that are verified. Comrade, I'm asking you a question. You don't, don't, you don't want to agree. Don't ask me falsehood. I have asked you that it is not true. If you insist it, if you're not the going to proof, answer, the body of proof the, is I yours. Put, I put the dates here. I put the, the person involved here. But the question, the that bigger makes it, question. That makes it the correct story. Senator, let, let's move on. If you're not going to answer the question, let's move on. No, now. because you are lying. I'm not lying. And I'm not, I, I don't proof. lie here. He who are lying. I told you, I told you. You have the body of proof. <laughs> that the <laughs> journalist doesn't give we'll, you the we'll, license. Just a moment. We'll put up, up, up on the newspapers that reported it at the time. Okay. And you must put so up the question, state government's no, response. Yeah. And that's what I'm asking. You were saying that the government responded. And I'm asking, what was the res government, your res the response of your I government? I ask you, what was the response? If you don't expect me to call me. You were the too. governor at the time, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, good day, my brothers and sisters, my mommies and my daddies over there. Is your sister again, your doctor, your friend, your girl, admitted Lady TV? Please, if today is your first time of coming across my YouTube channel, please do subscribe for me. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell. So each time I upload any video, you will be notified. So in this my channel, I will be bringing up many things to you in which you will benefit from it. I do talk show, I do news, anything you want to talk about, I am into it. Please subscribe, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. So each time I upload any video or each time I'm on live on YouTube, you will be notified. Thank you very much for always being there for me. Please do subscribe for me and as you do so, God will richly bless you and meet your heart desire. Thank you very much. I love you all. Yes, so my people, as I told them, I say I will come back. I don't come back when I will come back. As soon as I see that video, I will watch. I will see. Them. I want more to leave a comment for the comment section there. More to tell me I will not see the matter, whether it good or it bad. If it good, make one let me know. If it's still bad, me one still let me know. I need to bring and come give. Una we be my people. We day here. Me una follow me shook mat put. Whether it day good or it day bad. So if it day right, me una still leave una comment below. If it day bad, me una still leave una comment below. Una remember say everybody gets freedom of speech. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. So if you they watch me, you never subscribe, my brother, sister. I beg you in the name of God. Make you hit that red button and turn on the notification bell. So each time I upload any video, you will get you will get notification and you will constantly watch me. Thank you very much. See you again in my other video. I love you all. Bye bye.